Well, I did it again. I went to a estate sale and uh, went to the hardware area and I picked up some some old gems here and I bought this today which is Sunday. So everything here was half off so these boxes were like uh, 10, 12 cents a, a box. I bought a coffee can full of biscuits for two dollars and then I bought this uh, this blade here it says New Haven Edge Tools it's a two and a half inch it's uh, for a plane hand plane and uh, bought these two hand saws for five dollars this is a really old one here it's engraved on there uh, Marshall Wills Hardware Company Portland Oregon and it is ancient it says this saw is guaranteed if it proves imperfect return it to Marshall Wells Hardware Company and uh, I've lived here most of my life I've never never heard of them and then this one here is just a uh, says it's a Rimscheid from Germany anyway carpenter saw the other thing I bought was this uh, this parts bin and it had a four dollar sticker on it so it actually cost me two dollars but you know it's it's missing drawers but this is actually modular I can take those apart I can throw all the junk hardware out in it away filter through that stuff but uh, I noticed it had a patent number on the inside so I looked it up and it was patented in 1941 so I mean it's got basically just garbage inside of it but I plan on using it for some of the small hardware parts that I get. Um, and then this, this is looks like part of an in vice or a front vice. I'm gonna kind of figure something out for this. It's kind of cool. No matter what. Oh, almost forgot. This coffee can full of three-quarter inch black floor flanges. So this, I think this whole box cost me. Two dollars, and these flanges probably sell for <laughs> seven or eight bucks at the hardware store. I, I would imagine. Uh, but the real cool tool I bought today was this parts washer. So it's just a small little one. It's got the spring-loaded strainer here, and um, so I ended up getting this for seven dollars and fifty cents. So I've been wanting a way to wash the parts and this one here is made by this one is made by Protecto Seal Company Chicago number 218 so it's in really good condition so I plan on using it um, and I also picked up this uh, ship auger bit that goes in the, uh, the bit and brace type of uh, drill. Pretty long. <laughs> and found an S Wing hammer, $2. And this is one of those push drills. The reason I bought this is because it uh, was full of drill bits and so forth, which those are hard to come by because they break and they get lost from the original owner. And this cap is in really good condition. A lot of times they're cracked. So that was a dollar. Miniature hammer. Kind of cool. And this here. This here. It's got a lot of cool stuff in there. That's a, uh, a leaded pencil. And got some stuff. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, looks like some sort of divider or some sort. And yeah, let's see if it has a brand on there. Nothing. This one says. Ow. That's so small I can't read it. 
property of US government. It's a mechanical pencil. Let's see what this one says. Norris, USA. And I'm pretty sure that's a divider. Pretty cool. Anyway. Oh, what's this? Let's look at that. It's got little pointy things. Looks like those might hurt if they stuck you. Nice. Good finds. But this parts washer, this is actually the the find for the day that I really am glad I found. Because uh, the way I've been washing parts in the past, small little parts, has been just on the tabletop with a small metal tray or something like that and some WD-40 or or some sort of solvent, but this will actually help out quite a bit. Hey, thanks for watching.